If you want to give a specific learner the opportunity to explain something to the rest of the class, you can select that thumbnail and choose Demo and either share it in full screen mode to all the other learners or share it in a window. Now, it actually shares it on your screen as well and it does take a bit longer, it seems, than sharing it straight from your computer but it does come right in the end. On my side, I can already see in the classroom that all the computers can see this student's computer. Now they're able to explain and show something to the whole of the class, or you're able to stand there and demonstrate on their computer. In this case, everyone would know who it is. If you want to keep their identity protected, and they perhaps made a mistake and you want to show everyone else how not to make that same mistake, it might be better to first control their screen yourself, remote control, so that you can actually work on it and show the whole class what, you, what they're doing wrong. And then you can demo your screen to the whole classroom. Right, so here I made a mistake by actually including this learner in the demo. So I need to stop the demo and actually select all the other learners except this one to demo to because I'm actually using this one to demo. This is an error that happens quite often where it keeps showing stop demo but it actually doesn't stop it and then if it doesn't work you can just close the program and restart it. So I'm going to demo my screen in a window and then I'm able to explain by doing something on this learner's computer that the rest will see the reaction of, but I do it from my table. Now on the screenshot, it doesn't show on all the thumbnails that they can all see the screen, but on my side in the classroom, I can verify that they can. Now you can right click and stop the demo. In this instance, it worked. If it doesn't work, just close the program and restart.